We only have one thing each to worry about. <laughs> How's it going? Man. We have 20, right now we have $24,000 with the memberships outstanding. Huh? We have $24,000 with the memberships outstanding. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Uh, that are in like <clears throat> process or being processed. <laughs> yeah. So it's not bad for like a couple of weeks work, uh, but there's a lot at risk. And so I, I uh, in one of the investor updates, it's kind of like saying basically, we have a lot on the table when it comes to uh, like improving communication because the membership side, we have $24,000 out on the table at play here. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking money. Yeah. Just off memberships, right? I was like, yo, we, we made $7,000 worth of money last week. And that's not including the $9,000. It was like $9,000 of the memberships we sold, right? right. That are, that's deferred, right? So that's at play. Plus the other memberships we have, which is like 100 and something. Yeah. It's like 200, basically 200 memberships total that we've sold over the past month, mm -hmm. which is $24,000 mm -hmm. worth of memberships. Mm -hmm. That's a great number but we're on defense. <laughs> yeah. Membership calls, I still got a long ass list of people to call. So uh, that's my rest of my day today. Basically, I got the, I got a, I'm got almost done with the ambassador note, so send the ambassador thing out today, and then basically the rest of my week is just calls. That's literally the goal. Yeah. Just got them designed, and I probably got to order a thousand cards. Probably need about two thousand, and they all got to be different codes to track the ambassador joint. Said, man, if this works, it only gets better. But what I am afraid of is getting a million bucks and saying this is exactly what we're gonna do. This marketing plan is gonna work, and it doesn't. So know exactly what you're doing with your money when you get the money. And you do that by doing the small things, by having small tests, pushing it out there. And if this test works, you can test it for the broad market. And if it works in the broad market, then guess what? It's safe to assume that it works in all the other markets. Double up, three or four times. I ain't telling no lies. I just run it up. Never let a hard time have a was. Double up. All right, it seems like uh, it's just gonna be us. Um, it's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna try to make this real quick. We rolled out memberships this past week. And so what we decided to do is, I think Ruby was, was hitting on this last week, was um, allow people to sign up for the membership after they try the service. The main thing is letting people know about the membership and what they can do and what they can save, the money that they can save after they try out the service. I have a question. What I've noticed from being at Blondie's and Somar is that, especially with this past uh, First Friday, it's really hard. I mean, it's, it's a good thing to have everybody in our skip lines or our membership line, mm -hmm. but like, it was really bad when it came to the general line. Like, everybody in the general line was like, this is like crazy. How are we never able to get in when you guys have this long, uh, skip line that's just sitting here. You know what I'm saying? Like in situations like that is when the dynamic pricing should be like 50 bucks, 60 bucks. You know, when Somar Bar is at capacity, and even our skip line line, there's like maybe a, maybe there's like three or four people in our skip line lines at this point where it's not even moving. What happens is everybody starts buying the skip line price. That skip line price should be jacked up crazy at that point. Like. There's only, there should only be maybe two or three people in that line that should be able to afford to skip the line at that point. The membership option being available at this really low price mean that like 20% 20, 20 of that line was willing to pay. What we have to do on our side is really get more aggressive when it comes to the pricing, when it comes to both membership and skip line and making sure that there's a fair balance between the two prices. Pushing out the new app, we we'll have basically version one of the new design, new app, new flow. Right now at venues, we have deals where you know you need signage and an ambassador. And what the app allows us to do is get our foot in the door without having like a significant presence there. But the customers can still go to those venues and, and use Quest. So that kind of opens up the door as far as like the number of venues that can be on the platform. We're trying to build a really dope tool 
uh, for people to use when it comes to going out. We'll let you know when it's out, download it, give us your feedback. We want to get it into customers' hands and your guys' hands so that way you can play with it, feel it, touch it, see it, and let us know what you like and what you don't like and what you want to see on it. So. Feel and touch it? Yeah, you can yeah, <laughs> feel it, caress it, touch it. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, all that stuff. I'm, I plan on uh, making love to this app for about a day because I'm so excited. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm going to try to keep it PG-13. The work that Andre's been putting in to build this app is rated R. He's been up yeah, late at night. He's been late. Do not disturb. Working all late at night. You know, I've been hearing music playing and stuff with the door closed. I'm like, yo, what is going on? <laughs> In that room, <laughs> I go in there. He's sweating. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, this app's gonna be good. <laughs> A lot of love went into making this. <laughs> uh, I think I finally fixed fixed all the shit. Yeah. Man, man, it's fucking hot up here, man. <laughs> so you about to get ready? No. Yeah, about to get ready. You didn't make it in time? No. Just let him know. Let's go. You know it, baby nigga. <laughs> huh? Oh Lord, Jesse made another one. Huh? She wanna fuck with me, but I don't got the time. I just hopped off a private plane and went and hopped on 85. Uh. Go cut my show for bitch, cause I don't like to drive. Me and suburbs back to back, and we gon' fill them up with vibes. Fill them with vibes. What's up, T? How you doing, family? Yeah. Get in and ride, yeah. Yeah. and no, a nigga not blind uh -uh. But I keep the stick and I'm fine I ain't met a nigga in life Just fucking with me, say he did and he lied yeah. Yeah. We got so many vibes stuffed in the car We can fuck them whole six at a time You have access upstairs, I'll escort them upstairs And there's a security guard They were sitting right there by the, uh, by the staircase Making sure only the people that pay for the ones can get in there Tell, take the vibes in She gon' fuck me and fuck with my brethren uh, My brother now, uh, having three Power sales so, I think there are 18 people inside right now. Word. Hold on, wait, say that one more time? We have 18 people inside. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See, she gon' fuck me and fuck with my brethren. Uh, my brother know. Uh, Having three hoes in the king side. I ain't finished. To let them know that uh, our members are good. So I gotta get like tickets or something, y'all? Uh, yeah. Okay. But I'm getting wired, but cover. Oh, amazing, amazing. Can I just watch the fun now? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's been a good crowd. Okay. Uh, I don't like to try. Me and some is back to back, and we gon' fill them Let's up with vibes. Go. She wanna fuck on me, but I don't got the time. Just hopped off a private plane and went and hopped on 85. I'm gonna get the big sign. I think we got four signs. I don't think we have another one of those. Yeah. This one's loose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
11 13. It's pretty early. Okay. I'm assuming when it hits like 11 30, 11 45, the line will be kind of crazy. Kicking hoes out, get the boot. <clears throat> Do catching bodies, they bout it. Yeah. We having new vibes in the lobby. Vibes. Wherever we go, ain't no problem. Hop. I just told the bitch, no, she was child. Bye. 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 She want to fuck with me, but I don't got the time. Just hopped off a private plane and went and hopped on 85. Uh. Go cut my show for bitch, cause I don't like yeah, to try. Me and Suburbans back to back, and we gon' fill them up with vibes. Um, that's been fun. Anyways, how's the business? It's good, it's good. Well, okay. we're, we're in a, what is it? It's a constant uh, iteration for us. As, as an entrepreneur, as you know, you know it's the last time we spoke. Because I feel like you gave me the update a couple months ago, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, a couple months ago, we were still doing RevShare. Okay. Um, and we were going to clubs, asking people or clubs, hey, would you like be interested in this RevShare deal? Yes. Um, there were a few clubs, very, very, very few clubs that were interested in the RevShare. Um, I mean, there's a few that can only, that can that can't even work with. Can even work with, yeah. Right? For that it's most only mm -hmm. four or five venues in the city that have lines mm -hmm. that actually, a rep shirt can work with. Right. Yeah. So we burned some bridges. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, burned quite a few. And uh, what we realized is it's more on us to like really find where to get the customers from. So what we decided to do was turn some venues into marketing partners, uh, where they have rep share with our membership option. Basically, basically, we're doing a social club and social club is $120 for the year. You still have to pay per use for skipping lines and table access, but it's not as expensive as a non-member, basically. Okay. Yeah. And how many venues do you have to have in, like a, in an area before it's actually, people see it as valuable? I would say a, one or two big ones and then a couple of small ones and people are okay. So. so how much of the play, how many of the venues that you want in Oakland, San Francisco do you have? Um, so it depends on which model you're talking about. So as far as RevShare, we only have two. Um, that's our marketing partners that we get traffic from. Um, but as far as like actual deals in place, mm -hmm. we, how many? We have like five or six in place right now that we're adding onto the app. So to get so to this. How many do you need in order to be able to feel comfortable marketing this to get more people? Uh, I'd say like 10. Yeah. 10. Okay, so yeah. you have to get five more yeah. before you can start really pushing the marketing. Mm -hmm. And then the argument is basically some version of, if you go out at all in San Francisco, you may as well get this. Yeah. Because you're going to end up in one of these 10 places and you're not going to win weight online. Uh, right. Yeah. And so... Um, why is it hard? Why is five places not enough to start marketing this? Well, so we're marketing it now, uh, to be honest. I'm just wondering, is there a completely different angle to get to these people. Is there more of a peer-to-peer -peer marketing thing that can be done here? Like with people? Yeah. So, yeah, so that's actually what we're planning on doing with our app. That's what the app comes to play. Yeah. So our app is focused more on local exploration from a standpoint of nightlife, because people are always asking what's going on. And so we have built these uh, feature inside of our app that allows people to build their own collections with their friends. Um, and also, I uh, like, follow their friends, share their location with friends so they can plan out the whole weekend. Um, and then on top of that, whenever they buy a ticket, they can ship the ticket out to their friends and stuff like that as well. So literally we're focused more on, we realize that people can be our avenue to spread this thing for us. I wonder like, there's a bit of an Uber effect here mm -hmm. in that if the three of us are going out mm -hmm. and I'm a member, yes, I cut the line and you guys have to wait, right? Mm. So we're thinking more like an Airbnb. Yeah. So like at Airbnb, my first, our first experience at Airbnb is somebody got an Airbnb and invited us to it. And I'm like, what is this, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with our app. If I'm a member, I bring my friends in. They're like, yo, how did this happen, right? And then they go, now you go out next time. As a member, do I get to bring in certain guests? Yeah. Yeah, you can bring in. You can pay. You right pay now you can bring in whoever you want. Yeah, but you have to pay for them. You have to pay for them, yeah. But yeah. So that's the network effect right now. Ooh. Yeah. That is But nice. we see that. Like, we're gonna have to cut that at one point, but right now we don't Why care. do you have to cut that? Um, because it could, we could get more, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> think, how does that work? What, what does that process work? So like, I'm a member, you two are. Yeah. We're going to Temple. Uh-huh. We have to just pay the normal cover fee? Uh, so you pay, yeah, but you basically pay the normal temple, cover fee, you pay yeah. it through us. Yeah, so you, so you basically hop on the app, you go, on the, you go to Temple, right? 
me and three guests, right? Book three. Mm -hmm. Bang. Am up. I paying door prices or higher than door prices? You're paying like it, it a, little, little, yeah, a little bit more little than door prices. A little more right. than door prices. And we get to cut the line. Yeah. I go up front, I show this, the bouncer this, he lets me in. Yeah. Yeah. That is viral. That's viral. That's viral. That's viral. That's viral. Um, do you have any cost providing the membership? So when I buy this membership for twelve for hundred twenty dollars, do you have any cost? Not, Not really. Much. What the membership allows me to do is just pay to cut the line. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's a member, actually. <laughs> got some money. <laughs> okay. Can you already see in the app people bringing guests in? Um, it's not through the app that we see that. We see. Why, why don't you see that in the app? Because you would see we have buy even, multiple tickets. Yeah, yeah, it's true. They do buy multiple tickets. Yeah, I actually which absolutely means see that. that. I'm bringing guests in. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So basically, every ticket that I buy in the app that's above one yeah. is marketing. That's true. Yes. Average is like 2.6, 3. Yeah, 3. Yeah. So that flow, in my, if, if I were going to invest in any flow, mm -hmm. I would be thinking about the Blondie flow as just the kind of spark. Okay. Yes. Not that I should need to invest a lot into that. Okay. Mm -hmm. The flow I need to invest a lot into is that I bought three tickets and probably two of those people are not members. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, something that you could do is you could basically make it like, to check out with guests, you have to put in their contact information. Right, yeah. And so it's like, then you can market to those people who got the tickets, right? That's true. And it could just be literally like, select them in your phone book. So to be real, like the app has to get to a place to where that's like a thing. Yeah, to me, so I think the app, what's interesting is like, I could see how the app is built out aggressively, but I could also see the really simple version of it. And to me, it seems like the really simple version of it, one has what's going on this weekend. Yeah. Right? Which you guys will now know. Mm -hmm. um, and then two has the ability to buy tickets. Mm -hmm. Right. And three has the ability to show that you've bought tickets. Yes. That's it. Right? That's really um, all the app needs. Right? And then basically, like, if I download the app and I'm not a member, it's like, become a member, you get to do this. What I've noticed basically is that back against the wall is the only time we came up with good shit at Justin TV. It was the only time. Because it was either come up with the right shit or die. Yeah. Right? Like, I think the question is like, do you find an angle or do you shut it down? 